Ever text someone a cool photo, notice that it's been seen, but never get a reply? Well, Facebook has a crazy solution to this problem, and it's called Slingshot. It's a brand new standalone app released today. On the surface, it looks a bit like Snapchat. You send photos and videos to your friends, but what's really special about Slingshot is that in order to view the content you've already been sent, you have to send a photo or video in reply. Now, this could either be really great or a terrible move. Ideally, the mechanic incentivizes people to keep the conversation going, but at its worst, it makes simply sending and receiving photos a chore. You sign up for Slingshot using your phone number and create a brand new social graph using your phone's contacts and your Facebook friends. You actually don't even need a Facebook account to sign up. Once you're in the app, you tap to take a photo or tap and hold to record a video. Then you can overlay some text, drag it down to replace, put the text wherever you want, and you can also draw on top of the photos. The drawing tool is especially snazzy in Slingshot. Rather than a single brush size and a limited set of colors like Snapchat, you can actually drag your finger back and forth to choose how big you want the brush to be and up and down to choose what color you want so you can pick an exact shade. Then I can draw myself a little mustache like that and use a smaller brush size to accentuate my bushy beard. There's some truly goofy music that plays as you draw. It sounds like I'm on hold with a clown college. And if you want a little secret, you can actually hold down one of the buttons while you're drawing, and you'll fill up the entire screen with that color. That way you can have an easy background to draw on. This, the Slingshot team calls this the Glub Glub. So once you've decided that you like your photo, you can hit use to start sending it to some friends. So I'll pick Panzerino, my editor, and Jordan Crook, and send them to her and him. And you just press the sling button when you're ready. Once you send a sling, you'll immediately see a one-by-one -one feed of all of the shots that you've unlocked. Those are any of the shots that were pending from people that you sent your shot to. Videos will loop, as you're seeing here, uh, and photos you can view for as long as you want. There's no actual timer on them. Then when you want to view the next one, you just pick it up and swipe it away, and the one underneath it depixelates and reveals itself. If you really want to have some fun, you can try the reaction shot. Just tap on a photo that you've already received, and the bottom half of your screen will turn into the camera while keeping the top half of their screen. Then you can try to line up your face to make yourself a little face mesh. It's like a Frankenstein photo. Once everyone you've sent a shot to has viewed it, Facebook will delete it from its servers, except there's a little seven day delay just in case there's any abuse reports. Um, and if you don't open a slingshot that you've received for 30 days, it'll automatically be, uh, be deleted from your phone. So far, so good, right? The app has a happy-go-lucky feel paired with an elegant design. Most of the navigation is intuitive and relatively easy to pick up. And there's still some Easter eggs for hardcore users. But the design and functionality aren't what will really matter when it comes to Slingshot. It's the community and the reply to unlock mechanic that will define whether the app is successful. Sure, it creates a big incentive to send messages back and forth, but I've already opened the app once or twice to look at a uh, notification that I've received, but then not known what I should send back and just closed the app and walked away. Typically, apps try to lower the barrier to creating great content, like Instagram did with its filters not making it tougher. And since you know that the messages aren't urgent, like on Snapchat or a text message, you might just never put in the work to create content in order to open them. A little better isn't good enough to steal people away from something that they're already familiar with. Slingshot does get brownie points for innovation, but that doesn't mean people are going to stick with it.